Hi, this is Sweet June. How's everybody doing today? Coming at you with another interesting video topic. I did I did some other videos talking about single single mothers, single motherhood. Um, consider myself an expert at the subject because I was a single mother for many, many, many years. So anything that you've done over 10 years, you can consider yourself an expert because I spent many years being a single mom so I can speak on it and I'm, I'm definitely an expert when it comes to anything talking about single motherhood. <laughs> I consider myself a certified and bona fide expert in that area. <laughs> so I wanted to expand on on uh, single motherhood, you know, I wanted to talk more about single motherhood and go more into depth. Um, I know I got quite a few hits on my one video where I'm talking about um, single mothers, um, you, you know, the more kids you have, it decreases your chances of getting married. Um, and um, I, I think I'm going to expand on that further and go into some other issues regarding single motherhood. Um, now, years ago, when women had children out of wedlock back in the uh, um, uh, 50s, you know, uh, 60s, you know, uh, even 70s, um, there was a stigmatization um, to being a single mother if a, if a girl got pregnant when she was a teenager, they would send her off to some type of special school or something like that. And sometimes the, the family would take the child and raise it as their own, or the child would end up in the foster care system because there was the stigma. I know that there were women that came forth, older women that came forth, you know, years later and would say, hey, I want to look for my child that was taken away from me because I had them, you know, because they had the child, you know, in the 50s or whatever. Back then, it was a stigmatization uh, of being a single mother um, because most people, the protocol was that you got married and you had children within the context of marriage. And um, there was a huge stigma, you know, particularly if you lived in a small town. If you got pregnant and the, the woman was labeled, you know, as loose and all that kind of stuff. And even they even held the male accountable as well. They held the female accountable, but they held the male accountable as well. And so in some cases, the male was pressured to marry the female, you know, uh, depending on the age of the female or whatever. Um, but I know um, there's a lot of cases where if the, the young girl got pregnant at a young age, they would put ship, ship her off to a school or whatever because a, a girl walking around the school pregnant was just unheard of. I mean, back even back when I was in school in the 80s, um, they had a special... Um, I know I can count on one hand all the young ladies that got pregnant when I was... Because I was in high school in the 80s. So early 80s, you know, um, junior high and high school. So, um, back, even back then, I mean, um, I could kind of like I said, I could count on one hand the young ladies that got pregnant during that time. And then I think when they got pregnant, I didn't see them for a while because they got sent to another school or something like that, you know, and this was back in the eighties. Um, teenage pregnancy wasn't really, um, it was getting getting started. Went girls were getting started and getting beginning to, but it wasn't like it is now. Now it's like an epidemic. Now it's like it's not uncommon to see a pregnant teenager now. You know, back in the day, it used to be um, shocking to see a pregnant teenager, but now it's not uncommon to see a pregnant teenager. It's not uncommon to see a teenager with a child or two. You know, it's it's you know. It's commonplace now because it's, it's, you know, it's it's more common. It's happening more often than not. And I think they now they allow the young ladies to stay in school with 
in the population with all the rest of the students. And I think, I think, don't quote me, but I think. Um, so, you know, I, it'd be safe to say that, you know, times have changed and that, you know, um, women, if a woman, a teenager girl or a woman finds herself pregnant um, without being married, without the benefit of marriage, then, you know, people, she don't have to worry about somebody taking the baby away from her and putting the baby in the foster care system. She's free to make that decision on her own, what she wants to do, you know. Um, so we don't, they don't, women don't have to worry about um, that happening anymore or anything like that. It's more commonplace now. However, I want to talk about this, um, like as I stated in my other videos, black women are the most stereotyped, scrutinized um, race of women on the planet. <laughs> I mean, um, black women not only have to go through sexism, but we also have to endure racism as well. Um, and everything that that they, they it's, it's it, I I think it's it's kind of a catch twenty two because there isn't a stigma, but at the same time, for black females, it seems like there is a stigma. Um, single motherhood and having children out of wedlock, um, it, 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 it is an epidemic in the black community. Unfortunately, it's an epi epidemic in the black community. And the out of wedlock rate is over, I think over 70% in the black community. So it is an epidemic in the black community. Um, and I think that, cause I was marinating on this the other day, you know, and I was looking at my video where I was talking about the, the black women have are having decreased chances of getting married, the more kids, you know, um, cause like I said, I'm, I, like I said, I am my own biggest fan. <laughs> so I go back and I look at my videos and I look at the comments and I look at how many views I got on them. And so I was just thinking, how can I expand on this a little bit further? You know, people want to seem to hear me talk about the subject. So. Uh, I said, what's some of the topics that I can discuss and expand on this further? So I thought about that. I thought about it, marinate on it. And I thought about it. I said, well, black women seem to be um, extremely stigmatized for, I think that there's a, there's a stigma with black females having children outside of marriage. Um, I just think of myself personally, uh, over the years of being a single mother of, all the scrutiny that I've been under, all the, particularly when I got pregnant with my youngest son, um, when I got pregnant with my youngest son, I was extremely judged. Um, not by my family, but actually my family was very supportive of me. Um, when I, when they first found out I was pregnant, um, um, they, they were very, actually my family was very supportive of, supportive of me during that time. And they did not place any judgment on me. And so I appreciated them for that. But people outside of my family, like people out at work and other people outside my family judge me and they scrutinize me, you know. And I, you know, the woman, the black woman always gets blamed for the pregnancy. You know, it's like um, the man, you know, I had a few people to say, well, you know, um, that's not right, you know, because my, my youngest son's dad just walked away. You know, he literally just walked away. Um, and I've had a few people say, well, that's not right. He shouldn't have did that or whatever. But I was I was the one that was judged, called stupid, um, you know, um, scrutinized, you know, even called a whore or whatever because... I, I made this mistake, you know, and everybody is human. I don't like to call it a mistake because I don't really want, I don't like to call my kids mistakes because to me, they're gifts from God, you know. Um, but I would say, I don't want to say a mistake, but um, of, of misjudgment, you know. Um, 
um, um, I didn't I, I didn't make the right decision at that particular time. Um, and there were extenuating circumstances surrounding, you know, um, I, which I'm not really going to get into all that. But um, um, it, it wasn't as cut and dry as people people thought it was. You know, my conception wasn't as cut and dry as people thought it was. Um, there was more to it, but I'm not going to get into all that. But um, I remember being judged, you know, people on my job calling me stupid and, you know, being scrutinized and all this kind of stuff. And then when you were a black female, um, you know, um, over the years of being on social media, um, like I said, when I, I, I got my first computer, I started out on Black Voices. If every, anybody remembers Black Voices, I started out on Black Voices and they had the message boards. And I was called, and BET had a website and they had the message boards. And that was, big, that was a big thing back in 2000. And I was called whore, and I, even today, yeah, you know, I've had people come on my channel and call me whore, and I've been called a whore. I was telling uh, one of the sisters, I was talking to uh, one of the sisters, and um, uh, I was telling her about, um, 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 we were talking about um, uh, uh, single motherhood or, or uh, uh, whores or whatever, somewhere in there. We was talking about something like that. And I, I told her, I said, well, I've, I've been, you know, I've been called a whore, um, you know, for being a single mother. I, I told her, I said, sometimes when you're a single mother, they call you a whore. It's, that's particularly if you got um, more than one father, you get called a whore. And she was like, well, that's not right. Everybody makes mistakes, you know. And um, I know I said, I never stood on anybody's corner. <laughs> I said, but sometimes, you know, you get called a whore. You know, I was explaining to her that sometimes you get called a whore for having kids out of wedlock, particularly if there's more than one father, you know. And, you know, black women um, are called whores. Um, I'm not saying that white women are not called those things, but, but white women have to deal with sexism, but it's not at the same level as black women have to deal with it. Because black women not only get scrutinized from society and ostracized and criticized from society as a whole, but black women also get criticized and scrutinized from their own men. Now, I'm just keeping it 100. I'm not on here to bash black men, but you know, like I said, a disclaimer, I don't sugarcoat on my channel. So if you don't want to hear the truth, then maybe this is not the channel for you to watch because I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. I'm going to tell it like it is. I'm, I'm not about bashing anybody, but at the same time, you know, like I said, I'm many in many videos, I am not, I'm not here to sugarcoat. I'm going to keep it real and I'm going to tell it like it is. And the reality of it is that black men, I've talked about in many other videos about how black, a lot of black men like to bash black women. So we get scrutinized from society as a whole, but we also get scrutinized from our, from our own men in our own communities. And so... And, you know, they have taken that further into the media and, you know, uh, videos and everything like that. And so, and, and, and it's like black women are more stigmatized and more scrutinized. And I do think that, I do think there's a stigma for black females having children outside of marriage, particularly if there's more than one father. I do think that black women are more scrutinized and, and stereotyped and and looked down upon um, as society, like I said, society as a whole, as well as black men in the community. I've seen, I don't know how many videos here on YouTube of, or just not even had to watch a video, just looking at some of the titles of black men just dogging black women out for being single mothers. And the, the black men don't seem to be held accountable. They're, they're like, it's like all the blame for having the children and everything that's going on in the black community is placed on the black woman's shoulders. You know, that it just seems like to me that black males are not held accountable. And, you know, as I've stated in some of my other videos, if you read the Bible, the man is supposed to be the head of the woman, you know. 
uh, when God created Adam and Eve, he 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 put Adam to sleep. He created Adam first. He put Adam to sleep, took his rib and created Eve. You know, so he made he instituted the man the head. So being that he instituted the man the head, then the black man is supposed to be the head of the black community. So there are there there should be some accountability there, but it seems like to me that the black men are not never held accountable. And the black woman is 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 literally blamed for black single motherhood is blamed for everything that's going on in the black community. Um, everything. You know, well, it's because of single mothers. Well, what about the fathers that help produce these children? You know, see, nobody ever says that. Nobody ever says, you know, it's 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 black men and black women having children out of wedlock and, and not in the context of marriage that's causing these problems. Nobody never states it like that. Now, if you state it that way, then you're holding both people accountable, not just the females. But nobody never says it like that. They always say, oh, it's because they're raised in black single parent households, ex excluding the male from the whole equation and not realizing that we're not capable of getting pregnant on our own. I mean, a, a female just can't get pregnant by herself. She has to have some type of assistance. And so it's like the black male is never held accountable. He is never, ever held accountable. And everything that goes on in the black community uh, is put on the black woman's shoulders. And black women are scrutinized based on that. Um, like I said, I've seen many times on uh, in social media, you or YouTube and everything, where black women have been called whores. Um, don't have more than one father. Don't have more than one father. Please don't have no more than one father. Because if you got more than one father, then you are you are a whore. You are a whore. I, I've been called a whore many times because I have two baby daddies. You know, and um, last time I checked, having sex with two men, men doesn't make you a whore. Now, I'm not saying that it hasn't been more than that, but those are the that's the amount that you know of. You don't know about the you don't know about the others because there was not there was no pregnancy resulting in the others. You only know about two. OK. Uh that's all you know about because I have two by those men. So last time I checked, having sex with two men doesn't constitute being a whore, you know, but that doesn't stop people from calling me that, you know? And so um, even if a black woman has one child outside of marriage, that's not gonna necessarily exempt her from being called a whore. If she's never been married, she could still be called a whore. So I do think that there's a stigmatization in the, particularly in the black community for black women becoming single mothers. And that's something that uh, mothers might want to speak to their daughters about. Because I remember when I was watching my other video and I was talking about uh, women um, need to talk to their daughters about single motherhood. You might need to throw that into the equation as well tell your daughters, educate your daughters on the stigmatization, because I do believe that there's a stigma. There's a huge stigma with black women um, having children outside of, and there's and we're, and horrible stereotypes. If, if you, because even, even if a black woman is married, because like I said, um, I like, I, like I said, I, there's a YouTuber on here, like I've I spoken about her, Strong Mommy Chrissy. She's married, and there's people that come on her channel, and they talk about her. Uh, because she has eight uh, eight children, you know. Now, some of those children she did have before she got married, but she's married now, you know. But that doesn't stop people from criticizing her. And there's another one on here that um, I just started actually watching her. Uh, I, I subscribed to her a couple, two or three weeks ago. Um, her, her channel is called The Davis Family. And she's a young black lady that she has four kids. She has she has a set of twins and she has four kids and she's married. But her husband is incarcerated. But that doesn't stop people from coming on her channel and criticizing her and talking about her, you know, asking her why she has four kids. If you're married, last time I checked, when you're married, you can have as many kids as you want. 
if you're married, last time I checked. But it seems to me that black women still get scrutinized, even if a black woman has children in a context of marriage. Black women are still being scrutinized and criticized. That doesn't make any sense. If you have the sense, if you have the children in the context of marriage, then why is there still scrutiny? Why is there is the black woman still getting criticized? So it's just I just think that there's a scrutiny on black motherhood in general, but particularly black single motherhood. And 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 we got to endure horrible stereotypes and 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 um it was like I said when I got pregnant with my youngest. I, I was, you know, called every name in the book, you know, stupid. Oh, you're stupid, you know, just flat out stupid, you know. And it was, it was, it was, um, and then, like I said, once I got on social media, of course, it got worse, you know. Um, you know, I was called a whore and all this kind of stuff and, um, you know, it said, don't be a black woman and make mistakes, please. <laughs> you know, we can't be human and we can't make mistakes, you know. Um, because if a white female does the same thing, then she's not as scrutinized. She's not under as much scrutiny as a black female. You know, black females are, are under a lot of scrutiny. I do think there there is a certain amount of scrutiny and, and um, stigma that black women had to endure being single mothers, you know, particularly in the black community, you know. So that's what I want to talk about. And you mothers out there, you might want to educate your young daughters on that, you know, and let her know that she will be labeled, she'll be scrutinized, she'll be stigmatized and all that. She'll basically become a statistic, you know. So you, that's something that you, when you tell, educating your young daughters on single motherhood you might want to throw that in there too you know but yeah that's what i want i was marinating on that the other day and i wanted to kind of expand on that i was looking at that video and i kind of wanted to expand on that because i was thinking about okay what can i talk about to expand on that and i i do i think people like to think that there's not a stigma anymore but in a sense there is a stigma there is a stigma and um so I think that's just, you know, a big misconception. Well, there's a stigma with black females, you know, because we're, like I said, we're the most stereotyped, uh, scrutinized race of women, judged by all that race of women in the world. Okay, let me know what you think about this topic, topic in the comic section. I got some more interesting video talks coming up. The videos are not going to be coming as often because right now I am without Wi-Fi. So I have to do my videos and I have to literally go down to the library and I have to upload them <laughs> until I can get my Wi-Fi cut back on. So the videos are not going to be coming to you as regular, but you will still be getting them. So make sure you like, subscribe, and I got some more interesting video topics coming up. This is Sweet June.